So one of the more unique areas here at SEMA is going to be the overland experience. And in this area are going to be overland setups, camping setups, and other unique equipment that is going to be specific to Jeep camping and overlanding. So I'm going to take you through this area in this video and show you everything that it has to offer. Light and Move, they are showcasing their four-way tire inflation system that they have. You've seen me talk about Thor's Lightning before on the channel. I believe we went to Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion and we actually got to talk with one of their representatives. And right here is their new product that they've just come out with that pushes 10 and a half cubic feet of air per minute. Uh, and you can also set the PSI and it will cut off automatically. And what I heard, you can inflate a 35 inch tire, all four of them with the four way system in about seven minutes. So you imagine, you know, doing that instead of having to inflate each tire individually in just a matter of minutes. So airing down and then airing right back up, it takes a lot of that pain out of that. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check out Thor's Lightning. is you see all kinds of options and ideas that you can do with your vehicle. And one thing here that I thought was pretty cool, this is a pizza oven. Pizza oven on a slide out here in American Adventure Labs booth. And that is so cool. Imagine being able to cook a pizza, like a, a oven, you know, cooked pizza out on the trail while you're camping. I say, if you want to be the chef hero as long as, as well as the trail hero, that's not a bad idea at all. So again, American Adventure Labs has come correct with their vehicle. Looking good, guys. So if you're thinking about a pretty cool trailer idea, this is one right here. Essentially, it's the bed off of a Gladiator. It has been converted again here at American Adventure Labs booth into a Overland trailer. Let's say you can imagine the strength that these axles have underneath it. This thing is set up very, very well. As you can see, all the way from the tongue holding the spare tire as well as motorcycles, all the way to the camp kitchen that you have in the back with the refrigerator and some slide outs here and the tent mounted on the top. Again, very cool by American Adventure Labs.
Jeeps and a fan of overlanding, you should know this vehicle. This is actually Dan Gregg's vehicle, uh, his Gladiator, uh, from the YouTube channel, The Road Chose Me. And if you haven't had a chance to go out there and see his adventures, there's a good map of where he has been uh, in all different vehicles. Uh, I, I think it's just phenomenal uh, what he has done. And you sort of see his setup here that he has. Now, this is his living quarters when he's out there overlanding basically all across the world. So again, if you get the chance to go out there and check out The Road Chose Me, what a great story it is. Everybody, uh, we are here at SEMA 2023, and I have a very awesome opportunity to interview Melanie White from Hellwig Products. So, Melanie, what's Hellwig all about? First off, give me a little rundown of that. Yeah, so we are all about load and sway control. Okay. So all the area on your suspension that's hidden and tucked away, um, we take care of. So um, our helper springs, we have a no saggy bottoms policy. So as the vehicle sags, we fix that. Okay. Um, and then we have sway bars as well. So that really help with our articulation of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. There's lots of um, overlanders uh, who put lots of stuff up high and yeah, heavy. Yeah. And, um, you know, we calm that like uh, wiggly back end. Mm -hmm. So um, a sway bar makes a huge difference in the performance of the vehicle, but also just keeping it safer um, mm -hmm. and easier to drive as you okay. add all of that weight. All right. Yeah, and I actually had a chance to pick up one of your sway bars. And it's, it's weighty. It's beefy. It's got some mass to it. It. So what's the manufacturing process that you go through that sort of sets you apart from other uh, products out That's there on the market that are similar? Yeah, so we're heat treated hot form. Mm -hmm. So we've um, been forging steel since 1946. So okay. we've been doing this for 77 years. Wow. So um, we, they are weighty for sure. So we mm -hmm. bring in uh, round stock and flat stock mm -hmm. um, and then we heat treat, we hot, um, heat it up, hot form it and then um, heat treat it. So, okay, yeah. all right. So as far as products for Jeep because most of our viewers mm -hmm. are probably going to be interested in Jeep. They yeah, do a lot of cool off-roading, mm -hmm. overlanding, and things like that. So what what models do you offer your products for as far as the Jeep market yeah, goes? Yes, so we do Gladiator. Um, it has I mean, we do all of the late model Jeeps, but mm -hmm. the Gladiator, we just came out with like a new cool thing. Uh, there was like a, um, a tab failure um, from the OE tab. Um, okay. and so we have a replacement kit for that okay. um, at, that goes with our sway bar. It's a pretty cool new thing. Oh, so, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay. I'm excited about that one, um, but we have JK, you know, uh, we yep. even have for the older, you know, we've been doing it for a long time, so mm -hmm. we have some older models too, yep. um, and they, we have this kit called um, the Spring Sling, so for the vehicles that have um, springs on them, if they break a leaf spring mm -hmm. out in the middle of nowhere, you can do this band-aid okay. and then get yourself out of trouble. It's oh, not cool. like a forever fix, but it just gets you out of a Yeah, situation. yeah, good thing to uh, get 
you off the trail, exactly. uh, at least, you know, where uh, where you may not be able to uh, uh, have somebody come get you, you yes. know, all the time. Because usually you guys go places where yeah. people can't come get you. That is very true. And cell phones don't tend to work out there, exactly. you know, a lot of the times. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> so, awesome. Well, if people want to learn more about your products, where can they go? Hellwigproducts.com. Hellwigproducts.com. All right, yeah. awesome. I'm going to put the link down here in the description and also on the screen so you guys can go check out the products uh, that Hellwig has to offer for Jeep and any other vehicle uh, that you may uh, have a need for as far as doing overlanding or off-roading. Melanie, thank you so much for thank your you time and doing this. Here. All right. I'm so excited. I sure do appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks. All right. Thanks. This Gladiator is very well equipped, as you can see. Uh, got just about everything that you would need uh, for any adventure that you would need. I like the spare tire mount in the back. That may be something I actually look at doing as well. This wrap is really cool. This wrap has a three-dimensional effect to it. I don't know if you can see it, but in here, the way the wrap is set is, again, very textured, three-dimensional. It looks really, really good on this vehicle. As you can see, they are not afraid of the dark here. Very, very nice build, I'll say that. And one of the things that I'll point out here as well is that they are using those giant loop bags. Remember, I was talking about the water storage a little bit earlier, and the products that come along with that, and they are using those on the side. And I think it's a great use of that space uh, on the bed rack and be able to uh, have those options available uh, for mounting water because you're probably going to use a lot more water uh, on the trail along with gasoline than you ever thought you would. I really like these boxes on the side too. These are really, really cool. Let me see these. So there's one actually on each area of the fender. Now granted, it does make it, you know, a little bit, I guess, heavier depending on what you're putting in there or, I don't know, bulky, weighs down. Uh, but overall, I think that's really cool. Intrepid Camp Gear, they actually advertise that their tents have 36% more space and 4.5 more feet of headroom in a hard shell rooftop tent design. And I know one thing about rooftop tents, uh, you know, is sometimes getting that width is a little bit more difficult. But I'll tell you what, I want you to be the judge. You tell me, does it look like there's a little bit more room in there? I can actually see it. I think so. And I think the design of this is very clever in the way that they've got it sort of domed up at the top. And that does allow you a little bit more room to change and things like that in the morning. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is this something that you would be interested in? So again, Intrepid Camp Gear. Go check them out. So if we are timing that, we're looking at what, 45 seconds, if that. If that, yeah. If that, so. Okay, 30 to 60 on our, uh, on our marketing and stuff, but realistically get down to as low as about 20 to 30, after some experience. I gotcha. Where can people find out more about your products? Yeah, you can find us at intrepidcampgear.com or on social media at intrepidcampgear. Um, and you'll see a new host of lineups coming out uh, over these next few months. And at the current moment, our Kia 225 over there is available and ready for consumers. Alright, awesome. I'm going to put that link down in the description below. Y'all make sure and go check out Intrepid Camp Gear you and you'll see what products they have. Thank you. Have a great one.
What's going on everybody? We are here at SEMA 2023 and I have another awesome product that we have found out here on the floor and I am talking to Helga from Drop Racks who is going to show me how this incredible system works. I was blown away when I saw this. So Helga, tell me all about what Drop Racks is about. So Drop Racks, we basically make elevating roof racks. So it makes it very easy for you to load your gear. Kayaks, boxes, bikes, canoes, lumber, ladders, you name it. If it goes on a normal roof rack, it goes on drop racks. Okay. So we have the standard T slot for any accessories and work with works with all third party accessory carriers. Um, when you need to get your stuff back up after you secured it and all of that kind of things, you release the crank like this and you wind it up. If you let go of it, it stays there. So it's okay. self-locking at any position. Okay. Um, uh, if you need some more torque, more leverage to get it up, you can use the extended crank. Okay. You can put 175 pounds on it. All right. So that's pretty decent. That's a good capacity. 175 yeah. pounds is, is quite a bit of gear. Yeah. So you simply crank it all the way to the top. Attach it. And uh, push it in. Then it locks, so here you have the driving locks. To get the rack back down, you click the buttons, pull it out, release the hand crank, and wind it down. Yeah. And again, it's self-locking, so if you let go of it, nothing happens. So yeah. All right, so just like that, you can get your gear down off of your rig. So. I mean, you know, look, the older I get, the harder it is to climb up and grab things off the top, especially if they've got a lot of weight. If you're handing something down to somebody down below, you run the risk of dropping it. They don't have a good control over it. So this makes it simple. I mean, it, it doesn't look like it takes very much uh, uh, strength to actually operate the crank either. It just kind of mechanically works. All right, no. so what kind of uh, guarantee do you have on something like this? If something were to break or, or, or you need a replacement part? Yeah, we offer a 30 month warranty. But okay. we also, of course, have every spare part you may ever need in stock in okay. case something would happen. I got you, all right. Yeah. And where is this manufactured? Uh, we manufacture it in Spain okay. uh, through a German company that okay. already is in the car industry making car parts. Uh, they could take care of that for us. All right, so full European manufacturing on this. All right, here's the big question. What does it cost? This model is 2,600 US dollars, okay. including shipping, including taxes, okay. to your door, basically. Okay, so 2,600 bucks to your door, not bad at all. Um, one of the things I'll ask too is what vehicles is this available for? Well, if you can put a roof rack on your vehicle, you can put drop racks on. Okay. That's okay. kind of the rule of the thumb here. Okay. Um, but we sell mainly to the bigger SUVs, trucks, okay. vans. I mean, it goes in all cars. Okay. All right. So yeah. basically, if you have a roof rack, this thing will fit on there. Uh, it's kind of a universal fitment system. You may have to make some slight adjustments, I'm sure, in, in how it's placed and everything like that, depending yeah. on your application, right? Yeah. Car, cars have different roofs, but there's always a solution to fit the drop racks. I see. All right. Cool. This is you guys first time at SEMA, right? Yep. All right, all the way from Norway. Yep. So, man, y'all traveled to show this off. And what a fantastic product this is. I mean, again, what's your first hospital bill worth if you're pulling that off of the top of your rack uh, and you hurt yourself? What if, what if you hurt yourself in some kind of permanent way? Making it as easy as this and as safe as this, I think is something that is really, really worth it. So, Helga, thank you so much for talking with us. Thank I have truly enjoyed looking at this. Yeah. And for all y'all out there, uh, go out to their website, which is? DropRacks.com. DropRacks.com. I'm gonna link that down in the description below and we're going to put it on the screen. So go out there and check out their full line of products that they have, dropracks.com. Again, Helga, thank you. Thank, thank you so very much. much. All right.
So we have stopped over at the Headrest Safe Company, and I am here with Jeff. This is an Alabama-based business, and you know how much we love Alabama-based businesses. And I'm gonna let Jeff tell you all about this awesome product right here if you're interested in vehicle security. Jeff, take it away. Hi guys, my name is Jeff. I'm with the Headrest Safe Company. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, this is our Vulcan version. Uh, all our materials used here are 3028 pass, a 16 gauge steel fabrication all around. We have a magnet that holds the door closed for those bumpy rides, 12 pound magnet on there. We have a lock that uh, features not only biometrics, keypad, and if all the electronics fail, we have a key right behind the knob. We have nine inches of usable depth on there uh, to store whatever valuables you want. Okay. So um, as far as being able to take this out, let's say I want to remove this out of the headrest itself. Is there a way that we can do that? Absolutely. Let me show you on our different model on this side. All right. Uh, all of our uh, headrest safes come with an adjustable base system on the bottom. We manufacture the post on different diameters. If you guys do not know what diameter post you have, we also manufacture the proper sleeves for your car. Okay. A lot of questions that we get asked is, how do we keep the headrest from actually being removed? The headrest uh, features a all thread and a wing nut on the bottom. Once it gets past the shaft on the manufactured car seat, the wing nut will open, headrest will not come out. All right. As far as what finishes are these available in? We offer uh, uh, eight different finishes, four vinyls and four type of cloths. We have black, dark gray, light gray, and tan. All right, and what type of vehicles uh, could we see this on? We can see these uh, Vulcan version. We can see it on your, your Jeeps, your trucks, your F-150s, your Dodge Rams, your Toyotas. Okay, all right, excellent. Um, as far as uh, this headrest, now if I look at this headrest and I'm, I'm somebody who maybe thinks, hey, this one looks a little bit different than the other one. Mm -hmm. How can that, how can I keep that sort of from being the case? Like, So we do sell our, all our products come with, uh, with a uh, companion. So you switch both headrests one will go on the driver's side and passenger side, so you cannot tell them apart. Okay, all right, awesome. This seems like a really, really innovative way to be able to store your valuables. And again, have maybe a little bit of security for your Jeep, if you know what I mean. Uh, on the inside too, you were telling me that there is uh, a almost like a keeper uh, that's inside there. Uh, Absolutely. All of our safes feature a Snuggie. Okay. On there. All right. Uh, if you remove this nugget, you get an additional two inches of space. Okay. All right. Good deal. So again, Jeff, we love Alabama-based businesses and we love innovative products like this. So where can people find these products on the web? Uh, they can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and on our website at theheadrestsafe.com. Okay, theheadrestsafe.com. I'm going to put that down, as always, in the description below. Go out there and check out their products. Again, this is really, really cool. I love this. Uh, this is probably going to be something that I see on my Gladiator in the near future. <laughs> Thank you. So, all right, Jeff. Thank thanks you very much. Appreciate it. All right, take Thank care. You. So we've come to the end of the video, and if you like that video, you're really going to like this one right here.